Okay, in this quick video, I'm going to talk about how we could upload an image onto a D2L quiz. Now, when you're as a student in D2L and going into a quiz, you won't have access to directly insert an image with the insert image icon. And we're going to have to use a tool called e ePortfolio. It's a local hard drive in the D2L system. And I just want to show you how to do that. So I'm going to navigate over uh, 2d12 I'm looking at the practice quiz number two this is just an example quiz uh, in the format with the introduction and, and what have you as you normally have it's assessing I think taking derivatives uh, but let's start the quiz and we would read it and I'm assuming that I'm accessing d12 currently from my phone I actually have another tab open you can see in this upper right hand corner that I have two tabs and the other tab is ePortfolio which is a tool that's available on D2L itself. So this question says determine the equation of a tangent line to the graph of the following equation x equal to minus one. Uh, I'm just going to just take the derivative right here and just upload just the picture of the derivative which is not the correct solution but um, but just for convenience, so you're not dealing with um, all the time. Uh, so we have 12x cubed minus 6x squared plus 3. And let me just take that derivative. Uh, now, I already have another app open, which is called Microsoft Lens. And this is going to enable my phone to take a quick picture uh, of my written work. And so let me scroll over to there. And here's my document. It automatically crops it, and I'm going to take a picture. Okay, uh, I'm going to click Done. And the big one that I want to have it is in Gallery. I'm saving it as really a JPEG file. Notice it links directly with my OneDrive, so you can use that there as well. But all I'm using this as a tool of being able to get this picture from my phone into ePortfolio on D12. So I'm going to scroll back over to my browser. And I'm going to now navigate, oops, over to the ePortfolio section of D2L. So you still see I'm on D2L. I just had a new tab open. So ePortfolio, when you click on this, this is a local hard drive that you have. I've already uploaded one picture, but I'm going to do a new one and click on Add Files. Click on Upload. If I click on Files here, it automatically default to the last picture that I just took, which was that picture of the first derivative. So I'm going to add that 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 picture to ePortfolio, and now it's one of my files I have available to me. Now I'm going to go back over to that tab. So I'm going to go back to the quizzes. And normally you would click this middle button, insert photo. That's not what I'm going to push because you don't have, it's only going to say insert, um, sorry, insert a URL. I have access to insert image, but that because I'm the instructor. But you're going to insert stuff. Um, you'll have an option called ePortfolio. So you'll click on ePortfolio and then navigate to the correct one. I happen to have the very first one right here. So I'm going to highlight that one, click on next. Um, I can put a dummy link for the link stuff. Um, oops, I got to put in some alternative text. Oh, I'm just going to say this is decorative. Sorry. If I say this is decorative, then I don't have to put the link text and alternate text. So then I can insert. And now I have that image there. I can submit the quiz. And I've done this. So this is a case where a student is accessing D2L directly from their phone. It's important that you prepare to take the quiz by having a piece of paper ready, having a, a scanner app open, and having a tab for ePortfolio open in addition to the practice or the quiz that you're about to take. So it makes it that you're not spending time um, trying to open up the tab and open up your different um, apps to get things working. But that's it. Hope that helps.